Now, Mr. Dave. Yes, sir. Real estate expert. Tell us about yourself. Tell us a little bit about your upbringing, where you're from. Okay. Uh, some stuff that you done been through, some stuff that you used to be into. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Uh, born and raised in Detroit. Went to college at Bowling Green State University. Uh, I come from a background, the typical. Well, actually, I grew up with both my parents, but um, grew up around all the craziness that most black people go through. Um, most of our people didn't own property, so I really didn't know much about it. And then once I graduated college, I talked to my uncle, who was like a second father, even though I had my father growing up. Mm -hmm. And uh, he just asked me, like, what's, what's your plan after college? And I'm like, I don't know, uh, get married, then um, stay in Dayton for a little while, rent out a property, then buy one in North Carolina. Then he was just like, why don't you just buy a property in Dayton? And then once you move to North Carolina, just sell it. And that's when like a light bulb went off in my head. And that's how my whole journey to real estate pretty much started. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, nice. So before you ever got into real estate, before you ever came to Dayton, um, what type of stuff did you used to do? What were what was what did you aspire to be before you ever went to college? Because you know everybody got that right. passion dream. For sure, uh, I was like everybody else. Either want to go to the NBA. Well, I wanted to go to the NBA, but you know some people want to go to the NFL. I was pretty good at hooping. Um, wasn't serious about practicing and all that stuff but i just wanted the lifestyle the money you know everything that came with being a nba player mm -hmm. so that dream was crushed after high school well really after middle school because i was like six two in middle school like the height i am now yeah. and then yeah when i got to high school i, I stopped growing so i went from like being a center in middle school to like a point guard in high school so it was different yeah it was way different and um but i was always a hustler though like i used to play cards to make money shoot dice um did some stealing and stuff but uh you know that, that was when i was a juvenile i didn't think right and mm -hmm. i just felt like hey if i ain't stealing from my people it's cool and if hey that's they mess up if they uh let you get them yeah like if you caught slipping that's on you you catch me slipping then hey that's on me robin hood complex yeah <laughs> it's just horrible man but as long as it ain't my <clears throat> people it's all good right we all i respect it and i was about to say we all either had that mentality man. or we still got that mentality mm -hmm. you know what i mean no I, not me i, I, not, I know i ain't, bro, I ain't saying me <laughs> not me chuck i promise baby uh, i love you bro nah. I, I, it, just, it just tickled me bro, because like y'all speaking facts man like, yeah for sure all the way through i know yeah. you know i just got to play yeah, off man. of it man you know it's my job uh so did you always know that you wanted to go to college? Like, was that always in the back of your head? Like, I want to go to college? Or at some point, you was like, when did that register for you? So my parents, they was always on me. Like, I was horrible in school. I, I forgot to even talk about that. Like, even though I graduated high school with like a 3.6, that's because I was cheating off people. Like, I, I never took school serious just always kicking it with friends and stuff. Used to skip school, all that stuff. Um, Sound about right. <laughs> <laughs> but college, I knew I had to go because it was nothing in the hood for me. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna just go to college. My mama wanted me to go and she wanted me to be a lawyer because I was good at arguing. And uh, I started taking those classes. Them classes was hard as hell. I'm like, oh yeah, I can't Too do much. this. So I dropped that. And hey, we got a lot in common, man. <laughs> man. Shout out to the smart, bad niggas that love their mama. <laughs> <laughs> What's time for us, man? <laughs> <laughs> What's time? What's time? Uh, I mean, because you know, a lot of people that be like, uh, that has a higher level of intelligence, we used to get in trouble in school because we was bored for yeah. real. Facts. Yeah. 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 yeah, really. You know what I mean? Of, yeah, Facts. I, that Wasn't could. learn nothing interesting. Math, I always loved math. Mm -hmm. That was my class. Mm -hmm. got, hey, we got to know them numbers. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Got to know them numbers. Got to make it add up. So that also make me think about, like, man, stuff that we learn in school is it beneficial because I feel like it'll help us better. Yeah, I'm if not gonna we lie. was like 
learn about trades, learning how to be an electrician. They need mm-hmm. to push yeah. trades back in yes. absolutely into the regular but, school system. Mm-hmm. But I'm not gonna lie, it's some stuff that I did learn in school that it might hit me out the blue like damn okay i did learn that like damn okay, yeah. and i feel you on that too but listen to this though you know new math you yeah. seen the new math That's if you don't plan ridiculous. on going to be like somebody that worked for nasa or something like that mm-hmm. that's irrelevant but Pete you don't game. need this math peep game gotcha. if you learn it <laughs> When they teaching it to you and then stick with you, like that's that's what I come to find out. Like it's like the shit do matter because it's sure. basic, it's fundamentals for the world. Bro. But we're not talking about fundamentals. Uh, we talking about new bro. math. So that's no, I mean, you you talking about new it, math? It we might talking be about, new to you. We talking about bro, education, this is, this high school education. No, no bro. there's literally a new math. All right, K- yeah, like yeah, a new yeah, way K- K- for sure. K K problems. K like, twelve. Well, right, look, fundamentals, right. man. For example, can I give it? I wouldn't dare look at Quran. When you go to college, bro, they expect you to just know all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Can I give an example about how I use something that I learned in geography and Tim? Great and applied it today. Okay. All right. So I'm playing Red Dead Redemption, right? <laughs> yeah. For sure. And you know how on the map they got it. It's not like GTA where they tell you where exactly they show you exactly how everything is. Yeah. It's you ain't got every school, road and it's everything. It's an like old that. school map. Yeah. yeah so it's yeah. like it's the um I can't think of the exact name, but it show you like the outlines of the depth of shit, like how mm-hmm. mountain, like the topography, the mountain, yeah, the mm-hmm. top, yeah, that. It shows you landmarks type Facts. shit. So yeah. I'm got it. I remember that, and so I'm riding on my horse. <laughs> hey, I'm riding on my horse. Like, and this I'm like, damn, me of Oregon Trail. Hold on, I'm looking at the map. I'm like, hold up, that look like a cliff about to come up. Mm-hmm. Just because of something I learned way mm-hmm. back in the G. You learn how to read a map. You know what I'm saying? The the, and that's and really. Yep. I, I want to say that that comes from within, but I ain't about to. That, that's a whole nother mm-hmm. stuff. I say this nigga sound like Yoda, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Come, it, come from within. From it within, it, it comes. comes from within. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> like, shoot, we 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 created the calendar, mm-hmm. and the, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, you know, what I'm start saying? there, and and measure the earth. You feel me? Like, yeah. let's. That's where it, that's where it begins, yep. bro. But yep. like I said, it's all within, bro. But sorry. Back to my man. Uh yeah, because I don't know if he finished you, if he actually really finished uh, the, yeah, the, the question was, we was asking because we turned it into a conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it it really kind of it get like that. We, no, but we, go ahead. We lift it off, you know what I mean? But uh <clears throat> as far as as far as you know, cause I felt you when you were saying like when you when you 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 not real like when you young you know what i'm saying you you make certain decisions and things like that but what really geared you towards being on the right track and you know what i'm saying saying i'm going to go to college you know what i'm saying i really yeah. want to do this thing i know your mom's had you know and you, you maybe you know what i'm saying your upbringing that kind of geared you towards that but what really like click what was the moment you know what i'm saying that said all right i gotta do this you know what i mean yeah, so really I had one cousin, uh, this is like my main man. He was the best man in my wedding. When we would hang out, we would have like good fun, like no stealing, none of that stuff. So whenever we went to like some of his friend's house and I like see a yo-yo and I'm about to take, he'd be like, hey, no, nah, we ain't on that. So he always just kept me in line because I was, when I was younger, I was a follower. So whatever my friends was doing, I'm doing it like, are we about to go uh, break in that store and steal something? All right, cool. Like, it's just adrenaline rush, so I was down with it. But with him, he was always on me, so that that really pushed me to uh, stay on the right path. But college, I wanted to uh, be in my fraternity, uh, Omega Sci-Fi, so I knew I had to go just to do that. And I would have been cool doing that and not graduating, but my uh, wife, she was my girlfriend in college, when she graduated, I'm like, all right, I got to graduate. Like, I can't not graduate, and she graduated. So that just made me uh, get serious that about day. it. Yeah, never. <laughs> that argument, you know, it, it, in them arguments, you know, they'll pull that oh, one shit the, out yeah. on you. That's, <laughs> yeah. hey, that's the, the lowest uh, of the lowest blow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the night. Like, <laughs> you ain't graduate. 
<laughs> nah, but you know what? You know, females, it's different types of females, so they got different types of ways to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you might have the one that just walk past her degree that's hung up, like, you ain't got one of these, and just keep going about your, <laughs> keep going about her business, like. Different shit. That shit funny. He said, nah, she can't have the one up on me. Nah. Yeah, so that was I feel really that. like, because I never cared about school, and the degree I knew, I already knew statistics, like, 80% of people with a degree, they don't even use that in a career field. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I was just doing it just to do it. And then, like I said, when she graduated, I'm like, all right, I got to at least graduate. Her parents already said they're going to come to the graduation. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I had to turn it up. Yeah, and then can't fuck that up. Yep. Hey, let me ask you. This is just kind of like off subject but still on subject. Mm-hmm. What is your – does your wife – what does your wife do? She – um so she – Got like a six, seven different businesses to do. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? He said, huh? He said it sounded like it's a lot of money in your house. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we we doing pretty good, but she she in like the beginning stages of her business. So she make like um shirts and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, me too. Fragrances, like uh air fresheners, oh, yeah. uh, car do fresheners, that. yep, she uh, up bath one. bombs. Well, let me tap in. Yeah. She do all type of stuff, graduation, stoles, and oh, that's, that's, okay. that sounds like yeah. another interview that right like, there, yeah. brother. Yeah, I was about to say that's a, that's an untapped business right Man, there. What? Yeah, she she a beast with it. Yeah. I, I was just wondering. Yeah. I'm like, because if he's selling out these houses, what is wife doing? If she if she doing something too, oh yeah. They she mostly stay home with the kids too though, but she she stay up to like six in the morning working on her stuff, like when we go to sleep. That's dope. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm. That's dope. 